Well, it's only taken a day for sniping to break out in Australia's hung parliament. Coalition MPs have trained their sights on the country independents who backed Julia Gillard, accusing them of betraying their electorates. The jostling's also begun for prized spots on the front bench, as Julia Gillard and Tony Abbott both prepare for a reshuffle. From Canberra, Chief Political Correspondent Mark Simkin. It's day one of term two. Good morning, Prime Minister. Good morning. Bit of a late, to bit of a late start. How did you celebrate last night? Uh, just off to work, thanks. Last night, there was a much more awkward encounter. Hello. Congratulations. Thank you. Well done. Uh, yeah. so Tony Abbott. Good, good to see you. you. The organisers reminded Tony Abbott of his place. So we go together? No. You can Insisting the opposition leader walk in after the Prime Minister. <laughs> the really harsh stuff will occur behind closed doors. In the wake of the defeat, some Liberals want Andrew Robb to challenge Julie Bishop as Deputy Leader. The ABC's been told he did sound out colleagues. Oh, look, that's a matter for the party room tomorrow. Thank you. I'm not going to add to any speculation about the leadership. The coalition's more forthcoming about the two independents who helped Labor limp home. Several vented online. Hard to take them seriously. Nothing more than grandstanding. Did Oakshot sell out for the job of Speaker? Surely not. When you get into bed with Labor, make sure you know exactly who else is sharing the pillow. It is absolutely nonsense to suggest that anti-country policy will actually get through the lower house because there's one green. It's just you know, crazy stuff. They ought to have their brains examined. But the Nationals believe Tony wins is embittered. What they have done is completely betray their... Uh, uh, completely betray their electorates. And Rob Oakeshott's a turncoat. He's a Labor Party person in National Party clothing. Uh, and uh, I don't think that's really honest. After doing the numbers, Andrew Robb decided not to challenge Julie Bishop. Some senior Liberals believe he's really manoeuvring to be considered for the shadow treasurer's job. A post Malcolm Turnbull is also said to be eyeing. Look, everyone has ambition. Uh, I respect their ambition. Having dealt with the crossbenchers, Julia Gillard's working on her front bench too. Veterans Affairs Minister Alan Griffin will step down, leaving the Prime Minister with three vacancies to fill. She's promised Kevin Rudd a job, offered one to Rob Oakeshott, and may choose to reward one of the power brokers who helped install her. I sincerely, I've got no comment. Mark Simpkin, ABC News, Canberra.